What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel Fragrance Journey. Uh, just give you a little, a little story about me. I'm new to the fragrance community. Um, I'm trying to build my fragrance collection. So as I get new fragrances, I do quick reviews on them. Um, as I said in one of my earlier videos, there might be 100 reviews for the fragrance that I'm reviewing um, at the time. But my review will be from the point of view of someone that's new to the fragrance community. Um, so I may have a little bit of a different aspect on things as to someone that's been dealing with fragrances for a while. Uh, today, got a review on a fragrance. I was watching my man Scented Waters um, videos. I mean, watching the video of his. And I uh, came across a scent. And uh, it's a vintage clone. Um, I have a couple of the clones, the cheaper versions of Club Nuit which I'm not really a big fan of. I know a lot of people in the frag community are. I'm not really a big fan of the opening. Uh, I do like La Ventura uh, by Al Haram. I like that more than Club Nui Intense. So, but that's just my opinion because I, I do like um, La Ventura's opening a lot more. Um, but the scent that I have today is from Parfum Vintage and it is Pineapple Vintage Intense. I really like this fragrance. The only thing that made me mad about this, and if anybody from Parfum Vintage watches my video, when I received my bottle, um, I had lost a lot of juice out of the bottle in the packaging. Um, I'm not sure how it leaked out. I know if you push the cap down too far, it will begin to spray. Uh, so as I got my bottle, I was already down a lot of juice. Um, and I think I was watching uh, Big Beard Big Beard Business, uh, and I think he's got the Vanilla Intense or something like that, the newest fragrance that they put out. And he had the same issue. And it kind of pissed me off, uh, especially when you pay 100 bucks for a fragrance, and when you receive it, uh, you've lost a lot of the juice. And also, some of the gold around here is starting to come off. Well, gold, but um, I think it's because um of the juice leaking out onto the bottle it made this kind of um i don't know kind of peel off a little bit that top layer uh so i wasn't happy about that but overall the juice is awesome really good juice um i don't get a lot of smoke in this i know some people say um it's kind of woody or smoky i don't really get a lot of that uh as an event, is it just depends on what batch you get. It may be a little bit more smoky. It may be a little bit more pineapple. -y. But to me, this will be one of the Aventus batches that are a lot more fruity and pineapple-y um, to me. Um, but this is a really good um, clone. Well, I hate to use the word clone, but it does a very good job of smelling like Aventus to me. Just depend on what batch you have. Uh, the notes of vanilla, pineapple, apple, rose, jasmine, patchouli, ambergris. I wore this fragrance uh, yesterday for the first time. I went to a wedding reception. And it was in a small room. And there were quite a few people there. And it was, you know, kind of warm in there. People were dancing. And this performed awesome. I mean, my wife said she could smell me from across the room. Uh, my my sillage was crazy. It had to be three or four feet. I think I got maybe seven compliments on this fragrance last night. Um, if you can't afford Creed Aventus, I think this is a good fragrance to get. I would stay away from buying the Club Nuits and the Laventors and just save those 30s up. You know, you're going to pay $30 for Club Nuit probably, $30, 30 35 for live and tour uh put another 30 with that and go ahead find somebody with a discount code and get this you will not be disappointed the performance is great longevity i got at least i think i went to the party yesterday at like six o'clock i left that party at 1 30 in the morning and this was still beast mode still performing like a monster so um i suggest you go try to pick this up as you know me, I'm new to the frag game, so I'm going to be a little bit behind on um, on fragrances as far as picking them up. I know this one has been out for a while. There's a lot of reviews on it, but me getting my nose on it, I'm really, really, really impressed with this fragrance. Uh, they have a new vanilla. I think it's vanilla. 
intense um, fragrance out now. I may try to get my hands on that. I think it's like 130 right now. And then plus tax is going to probably be like 140, 150. So I may sit back on that and wait till the price drops a little bit. Um, so when it does, I'll try to pick that up. But this is a really great fragrance. Pick it up if you can. If you can't afford it right now, save up your save up your pennies. Don't buy those other clones. Get this one. And other than that, just a real quick video, just telling you my opinions on this fragrance. If you can, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Hope you have a blessed weekend. Hit the bell in that corner so you know when I drop my next review. And other than that, I'm out. Peace.